Team Drive, video number three. We are getting ready to head to Birmingham, Alabama. We have a lot of family down there that have really helped the company get to where it is today. This is gonna be a special one. Tell you some stories about Drive. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. It is gonna be nonstop. <laughs> we don't get caught in a tornado. There's a tornado tomorrow. warning for tomorrow. Oh, so perfect. This video could get more exciting than we all expected. <laughs> Coffee, perhaps? Oh yeah, we've got an event Saturday morning, so we are bringing product with us. Which you'll find is a common theme here. It's a mix of luggage and then janky boxes. This should give you a hint as to what you might be seeing. We are all bringing tuxedos on this trip. Hey, sorry, MapQuest took us on a really crazy route. Harlem Globetrotters bag. USA. Money. Let's go. You might be wondering what is the drive connection to Alabama? And the story starts a couple of years ago. We were at a pretty challenging time in the company's history. And we ended up through a restaurant in Birmingham, Alabama. And my cousin just so happens to own and run called Oak House best food in Birmingham, hands down. Through that restaurant, we got introduced to a really incredible person, big time car guy, absolutely loves cars, racing, the outdoors. Uh, his name was Jerry. And Jerry jumped in and really helped move drive past that point where we were at and get us to where we are now. Unfortunately, one of the sad parts about this story is that in a short time, Jerry down in Alabama became not just a very important investor to the company, but he became a very dear personal friend of mine. Really at a time too where I really needed some support from people. He was there, passionate about what we were doing, made a lot of effort to just be present with us too. He flew out to drive to come see us. We went to Broncos games together. And through that is really how our friendship formed. Fast forward to January of last year, we were going to Daytona, Florida for the Rolex 24. Jerry was kind enough to actually bring myself, Andrew and Evan, who you'll probably meet soon, uh, down to uh, 24 on his plane we were having the time of our lives we got a message about two weeks after that that he had died unexpectedly that was devastating to us that this person that had just been such an incredible blessing to the company what has grown from that is a deep connection to Alabama. We are now very close with his son who has welcomed us into his life since that time. So this trip is a special one. Anytime we're going to Alabama, it really feels like we're going home and we're going to see family. One of the most inspiring things about Jerry is that when he was finally able to, went on to live his dream of starting his own outdoor show and his show was hilarious it was entertaining and it was all the things that he wanted to do before he died and he just traveled all around to incredible places and recording it with his best friend truly lived life to the fullest and 
The craziest thing about it is that it was called Bucket List. I started the Bucket List show about three years ago, and it's about fulfilling dreams and sharing with friends, family, or a child. My whole idea behind it was if I could create a show with the help of many others that provided a livelihood for everybody involved, how cool could that be? Sharing with each other and fulfilling the dreams of all of us is the ultimate bucket list. And that's what the show's all about. Andrew, what are you doing right now? Parking in the garage. <laughs> you just, this is where I park every single time. Like, this is the worst one to walk to. Oh, I always park on the ground level. My car, I'm parking it where I want to park it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a stance I'm taking. Yo, the track edition? Pull it back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Meal Absolutely prepped critical. the flight. Had to, had to. Because we're putting our budget into product development, not airplane food. That's right. Airplane food's not in anybody's budget. We have the funniest drive travel story that involves Andrew. It's why now every time we get to the airport, we have to make sure we check for all of our things we're supposed to have. Andrew, would you like to tell the story of what happened? I forgot my wallet, you know? <laughs> okay, but... Uh, in what situation did you forget your wallet and ID at the airport? I forgot my wallet when we were going through the airport, which had my ID in it. I was able to get through DIA. However, I was given the opportunity to fly JSX for the first time when we were down in uh, Dallas, going to Austin for the NASCAR race. It's gonna be a great weekend. I was real excited. Everything was going awesome. It was an amazing weekend. Amazing weekend. And I got through DIA fine. You told them the. Uh, credit cards or whatever with your name on it. We all get on the plane on JSX. Leaving me behind. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! Giving us, you know, great food, a nice afternoon cocktail. And Andrew, how did you get to Austin? I took an Uber. <laughs> From Dallas? Dallas. Oh Dallas my God, dude. What Cost me $400. That's like four hours. We all get to Austin. We're at our hotel. We're all at the pool. It's like there's some kind of pool party going on. We can't even enjoy the drinks because we just feel so bad for Andrew. That's a lie. They were enjoying <laughs> They the were drinks. enjoying them, yeah. Also had the wackest Uber driver of all time. No, 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 I disagree. That guy was cool. If you're watching this, thank you. That was a long drive. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. That's what I like to see, Andrew. Keep it up. It never stops. This is tight. This is how every road should be. Every road, dude. What's the what's the game? Rainbow, like rainbow yes. road. That's yours. Bro, that one is yours. <laughs> okay, I'm cracking into this one. Okay, that one on the floor is Alex's. Mm -hmm. I think I gave someone the keys. I know I wrote them, but I don't have them anymore. Magician. It's really good. What did you get? 
I got chicken and waffles covered in hot sauce, which is a uh, last minute kind of game time decision. And why was it a last minute game time decision? Because Alex was keeping us on schedule. <laughs> we already arrived to breakfast 15 minutes after the planned ETA. Gretchen. 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 I'm Logan. Logan. He's our camera guy. Good to see y'all. It's my brother Howard. Mm -hmm. He's the genius mechanic. You know, I really appreciate Howard's mindset in that is we're preserving a piece of history here where there are a lot of people that would just send it to the dump or sell it for scrap. He is going to do it right. Hey, they act like they know. Uh, guess I gotta hit them with the update. Okay. To it when I'm up late, hit it when you want the front gate. They act like they know. Hold on, guess I gotta hit it with the other day. So, we are currently on our way to the genesis of our involvement in Alabama, which is my cousin's restaurant, Oak House. You guys don't know, but I slept right there last night. No, I'm not pointing at a bed. I'm pointing at the floor. That's where I like to sleep. Not by choice. We're off to a local Alabama Cars and Coffee here. You know, the car scene in Alabama is beyond cool. A really awesome, just down to earth people. Um, been lucky to go to a lot of cool events out in Colorado and across the country. So it's fun getting to experience it out in Alabama here. So we're taking a uh, Audi RS6 Avant with a uh, Miami Blue GT2 RS. So yeah, let's go. Driving on the road like I'm the only way Shooting to the green, I talk a holy way Bible on the dash, they with the holy way I know I put in work, they didn't notice nothing Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years Marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich Italian left, French sway, I mix the fist sick Quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win Might spend a mill at the rug store like Manafort but making purchases you can't afford I move the money like it's illegal Something more of Rick and Morty Swear I move dead people lay low What do we take? I'll take it Sold All right, so we just got to Barber. <laughs> I am already blown away. I was not expecting this much. Obviously with Drive, we've been to tracks around the world, Formula One races, Formula One tracks. This is on a completely different level. The infrastructure already and the quality of everything that's been built. I mean, even the landscaping is insane. So yeah, really excited to see what's inside. So having raced High Plains in Colorado, trying to compare the two, 
first off, we're 20 minutes from our hotel. High Plains takes me an hour and a half to get to it. And then like Alex said, the landscaping, everything about this place, top notch. James Bond Gala. Uh, this is a big cancer event here for uh, radiation oncology research. Something like this comes up that's uh, a charity event. We are obviously keen to get involved and support it. So yeah, it should be a really fun night. James Bond, you can't pick a better theme. We've got an awesome venue tonight here in Birmingham. Let's go. All right, so that brings us to the end of a whirlwind 72 hours in Alabama. It was such a good trip. So much fun just to catch up with really close friends and, and people that have helped us along the way. Had a ton of laughs down there. Already looking forward to the next trip, but for now it's back to Denver and we'll be back in the office tomorrow morning.